Hello Infusionsoft users, this is Josh Oaks, I'm with a company called MediaLeaders.com and I'm going to show you something we figured out today that is pretty paramount. If you are a referral partner for Infusionsoft and you want to send them business, this is a trick that we figured out. How to register referral leads to Infusionsoft automatically. Let me show you, bear with me for the next five to seven minutes, I'm going to show you something pretty awesome. And the Infusionsoft guys taught me this today. I want to give a shout out to Evan and Trent for teaching me this. Let me show you first my uh, company, if you will, MediaLeaders.com. Let me pull it up here on the screen for you. I host a lot of networking events, webinars, boot camps, and we teach people best practices. I have a book called Light, Bright, and Polite, which was a bestseller on Amazon. It's pretty cool. At all of our events, we are mentioning Infusionsoft. As I host them, sometimes we have Infusionsoft employees here in Los Angeles here attending them. So therefore, it gives me the right to turn around and sell Infusionsoft to these people and really put them into the system. Now, unfortunately, it's a little bit annoying to be able ha to or to have to go ahead and submit a referral, as you can see. You submit a referral one by one on here, lead registration. Uh, you guys have seen this if you're a referral partner, and it's cool. It's really great to be able to work with Infusionsoft. It's a great piece of technology that I'm proud to use. Once you do that, you can then go in and see your referrals in here, right? You can actually take a peek at who's in your system, and it's slow and tedious, but it's awesome. Now, I've got a trick that we learned today, and if I were to show this to you, here's how it looked. Before we jump into the campaign builder, I want to show you what happens when people register for our next event, our big social media marketing boot camps in Los Angeles, or our networking events where there's Infusionsoft employees running around. We've got Denny there in Los Angeles, or we're talking about different things. Sometimes we'll do a webinar, learn seven Google Plus tips, or social media marketing, and so on. And we talk about it. A marketing automation I want to automatically have someone when they register on our site then get an HTTP post back to Infusionsoft rather than doing it one by one so let's jump in here let me show you the secret sauce and I'm also gonna give you a link below this video so you can go and download the docs here you've got I've made something called HTT post to send contacts to Infusionsoft for referral watch this as we open it up you're gonna notice I've got if somebody's tagged on the left, then they're going to be inser entered in immediately into a sequence on the right. Watch this as it loads. Okay, so here we are. That When they request information, they get it on the right. Let's go ahead and edit. I created a tag called HTTP post sent to Infusionsoft referral for commission. That shows that I want to send them to Infusionsoft as soon as they get the put in here. This is the secret sauce, my friends. Watch carefully. We've got a start button, and then we have something here called HTTP auto reg referral to Infusionsoft. Thanks to Evan for helping me set this up and Trent for connecting me with Evan. We're going to double click on this. I'm going to copy and paste this into a text document link below this video so you can see it. I've got the post URL. I've got my special code here. And if you're a referral partner, you know what that code is. And then I've got my name and then I've got my owner ID. Let me show you real fast how we found that owner ID. It's a little tricky. Watch carefully. We're going to go back over to the submit a referral lead registration page once you're logged in which you know how to do that you go over to the Infusionsoft thing you're gonna right click on this page and click inspect element with firebug and firebug is gonna pop up there's a lot of different ways to get to firebug but there, let me show you you're gonna dig down in here just a little bit and I'll show you what you're gonna look for so I right clicked on the green I found container row I went down. You're gonna. You know you're you're moving in the right direction when you see form ID method post. You click the little minus sign, the plus sign to to extend that down. Do you see this little value one four nine five four five four? That's me. That's my owner ID. I copy and paste that over to here. Check this out. That's where my owner ID goes. Now, as Evan pointed out, it's super important to realize that every one of these name slash value pairs is hyper sensitive if you get the uppercase versus lowercase wrong so you gotta make sure we get this right tap is all caps cjpid i'm gonna copy and paste this into a doc lowercase j lowercase id 
owner ID. The I is capitalized. Be very careful. Copy and paste from my doc. Affiliate first name is AFN is the caps. ALN is caps. RFN, referral first name, referral last name. I'm also going to give you this information below and so on. Now, contact ref. This is it's interesting. Do you want them to do you want Infusionsoft to call them? No, not for me. I just want to put them in there and I want to follow up and I want to send them more data and I want to uh, the hot ones I'll say yes to, but the cold ones I just want to get reference, put them in the system so that people know that I've been trying to sell this darn thing. All right, you can also save this. Um, and copy it from a campaign and so on. But I want you to look at this real carefully and set it up carefully. Then, just in case that the tag was not applied or I threw them into the sequence from a search result, I auto reapply that tag, the HTTP post, the one that I assume was outside, but I like to reassume it's on the inside. Call me crazy, but there are some instances where that doesn't work. And then I'm always waiting at least 29 days and then running at 8 a.m. Sometimes I do this just to see how many people are in here. Let's go ahead and publish this real quick. I've got 165 in here. Now I could have spent a lot of time submitting a referral or having my virtual assistant do this overseas and so on. I just don't trust my data with anybody. And so I'm really careful. So I've got 165. Here's here's what Evan told me is that I want you to pay attention to. First of all, only send 50 of these darn things at a time, then wait a while. There is no guarantee that this is going to be perfect. There's no guarantee that these people are going to 100% work. So be careful. Make sure that you only do 50 of them at a time. You can go through your links and you can actually just do uh, one page at a time, set it up as 50. I'm going to start doing a lot of these. And, and I'm going to do my hot ones first, the ones I'm really talking to Infusionsoft right now about. There's another option in addition, and you can click below to grab all my data, but I could do... I could change this one hypothetically, request information for no call. And then I could set up another one that is yes, call. And then if they tag to the hot leads, it would auto send them into the system and have my Trent, my representative, call them. So I could, I'm doing no calls first. I'm trying to close them. There'd be a couple hot ones. Rather than going over to here, I could do it directly from within Infusionsoft and it would go down to the bottom automatically and say, would you like us to contact your referral? It would click yes automatically through the HTTP post. One more important note, you see how these are required, referral first name, last name and stuff. When you send an HTTP post, you're really, it's only requiring your, your special IDs and then a few, the email address. It doesn't require everything. So by sending an HTTP post, you're actually improving the, the um, you, you don't need as much information to submit it, which is pretty awesome. I'm Josh Oaks. Learn more at medialeaders.com. I'm excited that you watched this video. You can click the video below to learn more. I hope you'll join us at future events. And at least, if nothing else, as a thank you, join our mailing list in the upper right. I'd love to have you if we're in a city near you. Have a great day. Take care.